All right, come on. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, elders, a great millstone, and citation of the brothers who's pushing his word and truth and sincerity and with charity and risking their lives and freedoms to do so. This is brothers uh, Yanagaya, and I'm with the brother Daniel Aba. We're from uh, GMS Chicago camp. Coming at you with a lesson, low one is edifying. And basically, um, get straight into it, man. They, they, Jake's simplicity is going to destroy them, man. All right, and um, and so be it, man, because they have no excuse. Nah. All right, they uh, we just finished watching a video that one of the brothers posted. You know, um, the brothers were teaching, you know, and they basically telling this man that was learning from different doctrines, from different Israelites, from different camps, and leaning onto his own understanding. And then basically, they told him that this man was about to be destroyed, and there was a big thunderstorm that basically it was like a, like a confirmation, like the Lord. He says, the "Lord's gonna destroy you, bro." And after, after that, you just hear a, a, like a lightning strike, a thunderstorm, you know? And um, and it's true, man. These people are going to uh, die in this simplicity, man. And I'm going to start off with uh, Proverbs 1. I'm going to just start 1 and 20. Oh, let's start at 20. It says, Wisdom cries without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cries in the cheap place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in the scorning and fools hate knowledge all right so the men are out there in the highways and byways the wisdom is being cried out in the highways and byways man all right and and, and these people instead of trying to listen and and try and take heed into the doctrine they come and and lean onto their own understanding and they want to take away from the word they want to add on to the word you know, scripture says it seemeth right unto a man, but the end of it are the ways of death. All right, and there's a lot of things and uh, everything that we've learned, you know, prior to the truth, we had to uh, uh, forget that and learn the the right way, the true doctrine, man. All right, there's a lot of things that brothers, there's some things with stumbling blocks to brothers, something, you know, uh, uh, but we had to let these those things go, and 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 strive to truly serve the low Lord the right and proper way instead of leaning unto our own understanding. And we told Jake that, and Jake's got that warning. The Lord's warning Jake. Hey, but they, hey, let's keep reading. It says, um, verse twenty-two. It says, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge?" All right. And then, and if you jump up the uh, beginning of this chapter, the ver the seventh verse, it says, "The beginning of wisdom is the, the uh, uh uh the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom." All right, the reason why these people have no knowledge, no wisdom, no nothing is because they don't fear the Lord. All right, so, hey, but this is going to happen. It says, turn you and my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And how they do that is it, it, they, they, they try to fight with the prophets. They talk shit about the prophets. They contend with the prophets. All right. And they, uh, hey, you Jake have no excuse, man, you know, hey, mm -hmm. Hey, there's hey, we're posting videos every day, 24/7. Yep. All right, hey, we've been out there for years in the highways and byways, man, teaching the word, man. Yep. All right, and hey, hey, uh, all you is like now, Jk, hey, you came across the prophets already, man, and hey, hey, uh, you've heard of the word, man, but you rejected it, man. So hey, you've been marked, man. You got no excuse, man, for a uh, for, for hey, one one shit hits the fan, man. All right. That's right. You had your chance. That's right. It's a, and and the church says, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. He that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. At the end of the day, you don't have a problem with us. You have a problem with the Lord. All right? It says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Ye have set all my counsel with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge, and did not choose to fear the Lord. And that's what it is. And the Lord's gonna, and we're gonna laugh at you, niggas, man. During your calamity, during your distress, during, during when shit is the fan, you know, it, 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 it's, it, it's gonna be over with y'all, niggas. Gonna, mm -hmm. hey, it's, it's like when uh, the Lord shut the door of Noah's Ark, man. Mm -hmm. That was it. All right, it's going to be the same thing now, man. That's why the scripture says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. 
All right, hey, uh, 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 Terry, not uh, to turn uh, to turn to the Lord day by day, man. Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing. Hey, but Jake is simple. There's simplicity, and they're gonna die in the simplicity, man. And so will be it, because really, death is the only remedy. Because these niggas, hey, they wise to do evil. They they surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. So like, you go ahead. You got one. So Isaiah thirty-three, uh, uh, Ezekiel thirty-three, and verse. Uh, I'll start at verse thirty-one. Yeah, verse 31 and it reads and they shall come unto thee as the people cometh and they and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words but they will not do them for with their mouth they show much love but their but their heart goeth after their uh, covetousness all right and um you know, hey, we see that all the time, man. You know, uh, the cheerleader uh, Israelites, man. You know, you know, you have somebody drive by, honk the horn, shalom. People walk by and, and say shalom, man. But hey, they, they, they don't, they're not out there doing the work of the Lord or the will of the Lord, man. Right. Drive uh, by Israelites. Kind of. You you have. Uh, I see it all the time. You have a uh, Jake that will come up. He'll nod his head yes, and yeah, I believe. You know, I know him an Israelite. You know, we'll be there breaking bread with him for a while. And then he'll be go. He'll be like, you know what? I'll be right. Uh, I'll be back next week. You know, I got a date with my girl. You know, I'll be back uh, next week, or it's my son's birthday. I'll be, I'll be right back. You know, I'll be back mm -hmm. next week. All right. So hey, their their heart, you know, go go after their their covetousness, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, um, hey, uh, the the Lord doesn't uh, work on your time, man. You know, He works on His own time. All right. Mm -hmm. You gonna fuck around and end up missing your your bus ride, man. Your chariot ride to That's salvation. Right. All right. The Lord ain't working on your time, man. They have that mentality. Once shit hits a fan, once I see this shit go down, now I'm going to go look for the Lord. But nah, man. The Lord don't work like that, man. That's right. All right. Right now is the high time to seek the Lord while he may be found, man. To prepare your, your spirit, man. For these times that we're coming into, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So if, uh, you can be stable for when shit hits the fan, man. Right. You know what to do. All right. Because we're coming into some scary times, man. All right. <laughs> 32. And... Lo, thou art unto them as a very uh, lovely song of one that has a pleasant voice. And, um, hey, these people look at us as an en entertainment and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And, yeah, man, people look at us as, uh, as entertainment, man. All right. But, hey, this is a serious business right here, man. All right. Hey, uh, <coughs> everything that we were prophesying, man, hey, uh, which is the Lord's words, you know, it, it's going to come to pass, man. All right, hey, we're starting to see the the, the blueprints of um, the blueprint of the, the layout of the, the famine coming in with the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. The dollar's about to collapse. All right, hey, hey, the, 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 hey, the Lord's moving with his prophecies, man. The Lord is definitely turning things up this year, man, 2022. All right, the Lord ain't playing. Mm -hmm. Things are moving fast, man. Yeah, Romans 3 and 3, whether you believe it or not. Right. Every um, man be a liar and the most high be true. Right. Um... And when this cometh to pass, though it will come, and hey, uh, when shit hits the fan, hey, everything that we've been speaking of come to pass, all right, and it's gonna come to pass, all right. Then, then shall they know that a prophet has been among them, all right. And yeah, man, these people are gonna know that there, that there was a prophet amongst them, man. Once they're going two, three, four, five days without eating, man. Once the time comes where they're trying to, or these bitches try to dial nine one one. Uh, uh, uh. They're gonna remember, hey, uh, walking uh, uh, past the street, man, and rejecting the prophets, man, mm -hmm. laughing, smoking, mocking at us, man. They're gonna re re regret it, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they're gonna remember that there, that there has been a prophet amongst them, and especially the day when um, you're gonna see the glittering missiles in in in, in, in the heavens, raining down upon America, and you see Yahweh shine his chariots coming coming to deliver his elect. All right, and uh, that's when they're gonna fully wake up and realize, like, damn, like, damn, they, they were right all along, like, fuck. It's gonna be too late. It's gonna be, be the biggest. Late. I told you so. That's right. Mm -hmm. hey, we told you niggas to get right, to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh -huh. Hey, it, it takes more than to just to know that you're Israelite. You have to uh, uh, be. Scripture just talks about being doers of word and not hearers yeah. only. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, you show that faith by that works. You know. I got a quick one. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, For my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are sad as children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no understanding. 
All right? And at the end of the day, because they don't fear the Lord, man. These people, there's no fear. They don't consider the Lord. These people <laughs> uh, uh, fear men whether they more than they fear the Lord. This is Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 28. It says, They are waxing fat. They shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yeah, they prosper, and the right of the needy do they n not judge. All right? And that's the hey, These people, hey, man, Jake, take it to the max, to the extreme. All right? Hey, hey this man, hey, not this man, but these, hey, Jake needs to be destroyed, man, because hey, two-thirds of our people will be destroyed, as Scripture says. All right? Hey, and, and, and it's going to happen. All right? And hey, you niggas, <laughs> whether y'all believe it or not, this is Second Ezra's chapter 9 verse 9 it says then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they have and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments all right y'all gonna dwell in torments it's not gonna be a quick death it's not gonna be a hey, you know whatever yolo or i'll take whatever the lord has for me hey the scripture talks about that the the hairs on your heads are numbered our lord knows you more than you know yourself all right, he's going to torture your ass. You're going to be dwelling in torments, man. It says, for such as their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it, the same must know it at the death by pain. And you guys, <laughs> two-thirds of our Jake, two-thirds of our people will uh, have death by pain, man. Right. Some a scripture talks about seeking that death and not being able to find it. Yeah. You know, y'all, Jake's fucking simple, man. Uh. Lean into all different doctrines and all types of shit. That's why scripture talks about how they, they they're drunken but not by strong drink, they stagger but not by wine. You know, they all into Esau's uh, bullshit philosophies, man. Uh. So uh, Luke six uh, and twenty four. But woe unto you that are rich. For ye have received your consolation. Mm -hmm. And they, a lot of you, Jake, uh, don't want to get right, man. Because hey, they're uh, getting a nice uh, paycheck. To Esau, you love Esau so much, man. All right. Hey, you got your consolation uh, on this side, man. All right? All right. You know, but hey, we left our lives, man. You know, we sacrificed a lot, man. We, you know, uh, you know, different brothers, man. They, they had well, their wife take, take the kids with them and left them. Yep. And they would fuck it, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to serve you how about your mouth. I don't care. I ain't going to move me. Yep. Hey, brothers had good opportunities to hey, to to uh, uh, be actors or athletes, mm -hmm. and they left all that, man. You know, hey, to 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 serve you how we bash man. Because we know there's a greater reward at the end of this, man. We That's know right. that this shit's about to fucking go down, man. That's all right. right. Um, we're trying to escape that judgment. That's why we're signing, crying for the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. Right. You know, so we go uh, uh, receive that mark. You know, that mark going to uh, the wall to be exempt from judgment. Hey, the rest of the people, hey, these people are gonna hey, old and young will be destroyed, man. The Lord has no respect to persons, man. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Con, con. Verse twenty-five. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And like that saying in the world, they say laugh now and uh, cry later, man. That's what exactly you you niggas gonna be doing, man. Right now, you, hey, um, hey, you're laughing now, having a good time. Completely asleep, ignoring mm -hmm. uh, the things that are happening, the, the prophecies that are, that are happening uh, uh, around the globe. All right, so hey, enjoy your life now, man. But later, hey, once you hit the fan, man, which is right around the corner, man, hey, uh, you're gonna be uh, weeping and mourning, man. That's right. All right, like how it says, uh, uh and uh, what I believe is Isaiah 30 and 6, uh, Jacob's trouble. All right, uh, you know, their faces are gonna be pale, mm -hmm. like as if they seen a ghost, man. Hey, you know. You know, yeah, 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 you know, a lot of you niggas, man, you gonna be going through that shit, man. You gonna be pale as hell. You gonna be super scared out here, man. All right, but well, that was it for that scripture. Oh my God, anything else you got? That's what it is. Jake think, and the scripture talks about and the that security that that shall be destroyed. That Jake, hey, riches profit not, and they rest, but righteousness delivered from death. All right, Jake, simple as hell. Think they got everything all figured out, but. Hey, they up for a rude awakening. When shit hits the fan, it's gonna be too late, you know. So, long we're gonna end it off with that. Long as we're edifying lesson.
Until next time, we're going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash, double honor to the apostles, elders, Green Millstone, salutation of brothers, pushing his word, and truth and sincerity and with charity, and risking lives and freedom to do so. Shalom, 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 Shalom